Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, thanks for tuning into my May candle empties video. I've got a fair amount here to share with you. Um, I know in my last candle empties video, I said that I had kind of developed a system that was going to help me get through some stuff. Um, I am a very unfocused burner, so I, I will melt one thing one day and like I don't want to smell it again for a while. In fact, even like within the same day, I will want to smell something completely different. So I'm definitely not, I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of a seasonal burner. Like I won't do Christmas tree type scents around this time of the year, but certainly if I'm in the mood for something spicy, even pumpkin scented during the summer, um, I'll go ahead and let myself burn that because that's what I want to smell. Um, but I, I try to get through, you know, stuff that's in season as well. So, um, but anyway, my system is, seems to be working pretty well, I guess. I've, it's keeping me like focused, but giving me a little bit of leeway to like pick and choose what I want to burn. So what I've done is gone ahead for the rest of the year for each month I've listed 12 candles that I would like to try to finish by the end of each month and what I, I'm allowing myself to do is pulling from future months if I happen to be in the mood for something um, like that I have for July you know and then also what I'll do is if I have like a Yankee large jar listed for July, I might start burning it in June because I know it's going to take me, it's not going to, I'll need more than a month to finish it. So, um, I did manage to finish, in fact, I think this is even more than 12 candles this month. Um, and, uh, all of them were on my list. So, oh, and I am allowing myself to like do replacements. So that's kind of maybe cheating, but um, really the goal is just to finish 12 a month with, you know, I'm not really controlling for like the size of them or anything, but I'm keeping them like, you know, like at least a Bath and Body Works three wick in size. Um, as long as like it's, you know, no smaller than that, it, it'll count as a tw uh, one out of 12. So anyway, sorry for the kind of rambling um I'll try to keep this a little bit more focused and not as long as my videos normally are all right so first up I have uh this candle from candles by Victoria which I had purchased during her Super Bowl sale this is in the scent sinful strawberry shortcake um it was I think a, her strawberry shortcake blend or some other strawberry and cream blend. I can't remember. She's got two strawberry shortcake candles and I can't really remember which is in what candle. But anyway, um, so it's strawberry shortcake maybe. And the bottom layer was um, bear claws. And I have to say like, I did not like the strawberry scent in this candle. Uh, it just smelled way too artificial. It had almost like there was like almost a salty note or something added to it. I did like it better once it got down to the um, the section with the bear claws, but it that part, like the bear claws layer was only about this high up. So I really didn't get much burn time for that. Cause like once you can see like these candles burn super fast, um, especially when they get down to the bottom and the bottom is like the smaller diameter. So um would not repurchase this um although the burn it was very strong and it burned really well um it was one that like overflowed and i just like took the wax that spilled over and like put it back in the candle as it burned down uh but yeah i just didn't care for the scent on that so okay uh i have oh these two i'll go ahead and talk about these are from colonial candle so I didn't do a haul video on this just because um, 
I don't know. I was super busy. This was when they had their April Fool's 55% off sale. I picked up some things that was like, okay, I normally wouldn't get these even at 50% off, but that extra 5% kind of pushed me over to getting them. And uh, so I got four of the box candles. The ones are like $30, the eight ounce ones for 30. And I finished two of them. And the first one that I finished was Cape Cod. Let me actually find the candle because it's not in the box. Okay, so this is Cape Cod. And this is the little box that comes in and it's it's pretty neat. It's nicely done. The packaging is, is beautiful. They have like this little drawer here with a matchbook and then they've got like a little card that has some information about the scent, it's, this intriguingly romantic scent captures the essence of a day strolling through the streets of Cape Cod. This fresh ozonic breeze contains hints of lemon zest and sun-kissed oranges. White, water lily, coconut milk, and undertones of driftwood are all wrapped in a spray of salty mist of refreshing seafoam. Sorry, that sounded weird. I don't know if there's a typo in there. Uh, okay, so... And oh, the other thing about these candles that I wasn't aware of when I purchased them was that there was like this little contest going on where if you burn down the candle and you found a key, um, you are the winner of a $25 gift certificate to their website and you become eligible to win the grand prize, a weekend escape for two to one of our 10 cities features in our, featured in our new cities collection. I don't know if this is still going on because I saw that these are now like retired. But um, that really, <laughs> that was a great idea. It really gave me motivation to burn this because I was like, I want to know if I got a key. So um, I did go ahead and try to get through these pretty quickly. But um, I have to say I was actually pretty impressed with both of these candles. Um, the burn on them was really good. The scent throw was strong like this one was I would say a medium to strong the other one that I have was definitely strong and this is in the smooth wax um it doesn't burn down as far as the the other wax does but um I do I like the scent it's it is like a a salt water kind of scent but it's maybe a little bit more creamy or creamier than say like their sea spray candle um but yeah i i actually kind of like this i was surprised and these candles like especially in the beginning they were beautiful when they burned like that just beautiful smooth white wax with the two flames in the jar gorgeous so um i don't know um if i would repurchase any of these just because like i said they're so expensive um i I do have, like I said, there's another two. I got the Rainbow Row and the Cobblestone Walk, which I haven't started burning any of those yet. Um, but those are also the boxed ones, and they're in smooth wax. So, um, anyway. Yeah, pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised. Okay, the other one was Key West. And... This one says, uh, it looks like I'm not going to make this a short video after all. Embrace the sun-kissed city of Key West. Its calming warm breeze has a fruity burst of green apple, guava watermelon, drizzled with rich coconut milk and jasmine tea. Sensuous cedar and sandalwood are combined with a touch of musk, then drenched in the sun's warmth to create this alluring fragrance. So this one, I cannot believe how strong this was. Um, I had this, like, I paired this, mostly burned this in my kitchen. I had a watermelon lemonade wallflower in, and when I didn't want to burn my watermelon lemonade candle, I would put this, I would burn this one, since it has, like, that watermelon scent to it. And there is something in here that does smell a little bit citrusy, so, but it's definitely, it's a creamier kind of scent. Um... It's pretty different. It maybe almost has like a, a gourmand bakery note, not like a crust bakery, but just something that you would want to eat. So uh, 
anyway, I was very happy with this one too. Uh, obviously not a winner on either one of them, but again, that definitely helped me go ahead and get them burned. All right. Next up, I've got a Yankee large jar in the scent blackberry tea. And I've had this one for quite a while. This is actually, this is one of the oldest candles that I have, I believe. This is a 2010 pour. Um, this candle is so strong. I can't believe it. Uh, and the scent on it is very original. It's, you're not going to find... I wouldn't expect to find like this scent anywhere else. It's very, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fruity, but it's, I guess there's something in there that, that does smell like a tea, although I can't really figure out what it is. So it, it is a little bit floral. It's just different. If you like kind of blackberry scents, um, and you come across this, I would say pick it up. Um, now, as far as like the burn goes, oh, it, I never had to put an Aluma lid on this thing. It got a full wax pull very quickly. You can see, look at the oil in there. That's crazy. That is nuts. And if I, ha if like, if I liked the scent enough, I would go ahead and put this on my warmer to get the last bit of oil out of it. Um, I'm not crazy about it enough that I feel like I need to do that. But uh, yeah, crazy. But the disadvantage is, you know, the soot. This thing had a ton of soot. But like I said, that's that seems to be what you get. You have to take the soot if you want a good throw for my Yankee Candle. In a lot of cases it was the same thing with my cookies and cream candle uh, strong throw but a lot of soot oh my god I still can't get over that that oil another Yankee large jar that I have is key lime pie this one is another old one in fact this is disgusting I don't know what's going on with the this wax this is an own a 2009 pour um, I had so many problems with the burn on this. I like, at one point I had this under a candle lamp. Um, I started trying to burn it again just because like the candle, with the candle lamp, it wasn't putting out a lot of scent. And it is a fairly strong scent. Not like blackberry teeth strength, but it's decent. Um, but yeah, at, at the end, I did end up just putting this on my my warmer. You can see like some of the wax that's like left up there. Uh, the scent itself is, it's pleasant. Um, it's a little, to me, it's not like sour enough to be a key lime scent. This is a very sweet vanilla lime scent. And I'm trying to think of how to compare it to vanilla lime. I want to say that vanilla lime has more lime. It's more of like a sugary, a tart sugary scent. Whereas this is creamy sugary lime. I don't know. that. I don't know if that helps any. I definitely prefer the vanilla lime scent to this. I just think it's a better scent. Um, but it was nice to experience this, and I do enjoy the fragrance of it. So if you... Um, I recommend it for people that, you know, are into lime kinds of scents. Uh, if this ever comes back again. I don't know if it's been back since I, I bought this in 2009. Uh, oh man, this makes me really sad. Okay, so this one I am just, I've given up on. So this is Country Lemonade. And when I first bought this candle, I really enjoyed the scent. It's kind of like an authentic, it's probably the most authentic lemonade scent that I've had, but I just don't like it. Um, 
I don't know what it is about this um, that I don't enjoy. But uh, the wax was starting to discolor like a lot at the bottom. Oh, and by the way, this is for those interested, this is a 2013 pour. Uh, this is before the smooth wax tumbler. Uh, the, the tumblers were started being made with the smooth wax. And yeah, I, I just tried to finish this and I couldn't. I put on my warmer one last time just to, you know, get all the, the wax melted because I guess that makes me feel better about throwing away a candle. Um, and I thought about trying to give it away, but I was like, the wax colors are so ugly. I'm not sure anybody's going to want it. So I'm just going to let it go. And yeah, so sad though. At one point, like I said, I, I enjoyed the scent at one time. From Kringle, I have, this is actually my very first, this was the very first Kringle candle that I bought. I paid the full price for it, which I think was $25, $24.99 at the time. I got this from a local gift shop. And this was the scent of Provence. And this one, um, God, I just love, I kind of miss these, these labels. I, I wish you, like, Kringle still gave you the option to get, like, the labels that look like this. Um, but anyway, this scent is a blend of lavender and, I guess, citrus. And it looks like there's a honeycomb in there. It's a very, very unique scent. And I don't know if I would say that just because you like lavender scents, you would like this one. Because it is very heavy on the citrus. The lavender in here is an astringent herbal lavender. There's no creaminess. Um, yeah, I don't know how much time I should spend on this one because you can't get it anymore. Um, I don't know if it'll ever come back. But... Uh, just a very, it is a unique scent, although I just ended up not being that crazy about it. So uh, it took a long time for me to burn through this. And, but it, it struggled a little bit. Now the throw was strong um, and there's no soot. So definitely performed better than the two wick tumblers that they've had recently where like they smell disgusting to me when you get like halfway through them. Okay, then I have a, from Bath and Body Works, I have a lilac blossom candle. I'm normally not a fan of lilacs, lilac kind of scents, um, but I decided to give this one a try just because the container was pretty and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll actually enjoy it. Um, and no, I did not. In fact, I ended up dumping the wax out of this. I just can't. I can't do lilac scents. I just can't do them. So um, it was strong and it burned really well, but it was not for me. Then I have Apple Flower. This was one that was released last spring and I believe um, it may be like a repackage of the wasabi apple scent from the fall or the green apple orchard scent. And I actually, like, I picked up one of these because, like, oh, you know, you know, it's unique. I want to give it a try. And I burned it a couple times and I really enjoyed it. And I got a second one. Well, I put this away at the end of the spring and I pulled it out again this year to finish. And I didn't enjoy it for one moment this year. So, um, that's, that's kind of a shame. But, um, let me see if there's anything. See, it doesn't tell you anything really informative here. It's soft pink apple blossoms, crisp apple slices, and green citrus leaves. So um, I don't know. My second one that I have, I may just hang on to it for a few years and see if, you know, maybe in the future I enjoy it again. Okay, then I have uh, watermelon lemonade. Um, you know, sometimes I enjoy the scent, sometimes I don't. I wasn't particularly particularly feeling it this year. I remember 
what was this? This was a 2014, is this 2014 that this line came out? Um, when I first started burning this, I was like, wow, that's amazing. You know, when I hoard this, but like now, eh, I don't know. It's all right. Maybe I'll pick up another one, you know, somewhere along the line, but not, probably not soon. Then I have, uh, oh look, and these are the, the little dust covers for Lilac Blossoms, which is really pretty. And then this is the one for the Apple Flower. Oh, these next two are Goose Creek. Okay. So I have a three wick tumbler in peanut butter sugar. Amazing. This one performed really well. It was strong, delicious. Um, if you want a candle that smells more like the wax melt, um, I would say get this one instead of the, um, the large jar with the paraffin wax because this is the smooth wax and it just did really, really well. So um, very happy with that delicious scent, as we all know. Then we have... Sunset Sparkle. Um, this is a nice scent. It reminded me a lot of an old favorite from Bath and Body Works called Hydrangea, which I don't even remember. I think that was 2011 that that one was released. Um, and I had managed to pick up one of those and then it disappeared from the shelves and never came back. Um, when I like got the wax melts in this and smelled it. I was like, oh man, that it smells very similar. It's not quite the same. This is maybe a little bit more perfumey, but it is a beautiful scent. It's just feminine. Um, it is like a very good scent to burn at night. It's a little bit, I want to say like romantic. Um, like it would be a good Valentine's Day scent. And it's Definitely a blend of like different florals and some fruits, maybe a little bit of citrus in there just to kind of brighten it up. Nice. So I recommend uh, this one. And in fact, I want to say, was this one that Goose Creek had on the website? It's like, they're like $6 and 73 cents right now or something. And this may be one of them um, if it's still in stock. So. I would recommend getting more of those. I'm stocked up on the wax melts, so I don't feel the need to get any more of those at the moment. Um, oh, and then another Colonial candle, and this is going to be my last candle. This is the Paris Parisian Cafe, and this is a blend of, um, it definitely has lilac in it and some other florals. It's not straight up lilac, but it was, there was enough of it in there that I didn't care for the scent. Um, so I actually had it in my bathroom and I would like swap between the, sometimes I'd actually have both of these burning at the same time and it turned out to be really pretty cause like this purple and this like greenish color look really great together. So um, yeah, I was just kind of burning this one just to finish it. It had a fairly decent throw so um, but I don't think you can get it anymore if you're interested. So, um, won't go into too much detail about that. So yeah, those are my candle empties um, for May. I also have like some wax empties that I've been saving. I used to do a lot more wax empty stuff when I was buying a lot from the independent wax vendors. Um, but I don't really purchase from too many of them anymore. Um, like I'm still buying from, I still buy from Candles by Victoria, who I guess is small enough you can consider her a, an independent vendor. And I still buy from the Bathing Garden. Um, but other than that, I haven't bought from another like indie vendor in years. So, um... But I am trying to go through some of that stuff because I have a bunch of it from when I was buying all that. And uh, some of it's starting to go bad. So 
I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Typically, I don't watch the Wax Melt Empty videos anymore. Sorry if you like doing those videos and that, you know, <laughs> makes you upset that I don't watch them, but just don't enjoy seeing them as much as I enjoy seeing, like, a big empty candle. So, but if you would like for me to start showing you my wax empties, I could maybe start doing that again. So just let me know. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about anything. And thank you as always for watching. Bye.